This is the 31st on the eve of Hurricane Doreen. For those of you that don't do the night light like high, this is what the Marshall International Airport looks like at nine o'clock at night. I haven't seen this in years, uh, but there's something wrong because there's lights everywhere. And that's why I do the video to try to educate, but uh, there's no lights on the hair. And it's been that way for a while. On the hair is dark. This is where the pastures come out. If it's raining, they will come into this spot here and get in a taxi or on their private vehicles, but there's no lights all along here uh, where the pastures got to come out. There's no lighting things that you see. So I'm right in the front of the terminal here and all along the corridor. Um, this being out from Hurricane Doreen, I don't know what the problem because they had people here to fix lights. But all the car all along the corridor, all the lights are visibly absent four years in. Five years after Hurricane Doreen, everything is dark. Everything is dark. On the outside, you have light, but where the pasture is supposed to travel back and forth, there's no lights. Um, you can see the door is open. The door hasn't been fixed. Electric door, automatic, automatic doors haven't been fixed in five years, four years anniversary. And I'm in the inside. Wow. Never thought I would see the inside of it. Uh, the International Airport. It's 9.05 now. 9.05. Everybody has to be exhausted. Quiet. Guess I saw two tours out there. But everybody's gone. The whole corridor. One person there. But everything is officially empty. Let me let you, let you see what it looks like. Um, one taxi driver from Marshall out here. He don't. He don't rest. He out here. If it rain or sunshine, but this would be look like in the Marshall International Airport at 9:05. Still got that 50-year decor. Five years in. I ain't gonna put you on TV. I ain't gonna put you on TV. Can't pick you up tonight. Uh, but everything is basically shut down. Here's the uh, departure area as I try to bring my audience. And what you look out there, when the pastures come out of customs, they can't see nothing. Again, let me bring this to somebody's attention. Over here, it's pitch dark. The old people you say it's pitch dark, black dark. That there's no lighting. Why? I don't know. I'm doing the video. Somebody got to care. Uh, we got a fellow that's in tourism. Uh, that's the member of parliament for South and Central. But there's no lighting. As I come back inside, my, inf my video is just information. Uh, this is one of the few buildings that survived the rot of Hurricane Doreen. Beautiful, beautiful concept inside here, but on the outside, this place is pouring, pouring on the outside um, where the baggage boys are. But boy, and, and this is something that happens um, on all the airlines, I don't know if they could do this in international, but uh, Silver's almost ready to land. And Bahamas Air does it, Silver does it. Notice somebody, know, know what is missing here? Nobody at the counter when the airline arrives. They don't have enough staff. Silver does it. Bahamas Air does it. I don't know about Flamingo Air. Western Air does it. American does it. 
and Delta does it. This is the only international airport that when the flight is on the ground and somebody come later, somebody needs to get information, nobody is here. That can't be right. But not let me get too much into the business, but silver is due to land. And if somebody needs information, there's nobody to access that information because they don't have enough staff to manage the desk while the plane is in. Bahamas Air does it, again. Western Air does it. American Air does it. And Delta, all the major airlines, is not sufficiently staffed. So I'm right here on the eve, on the eve of Hurricane Doreen. Five years since the hurricane, four years anniversary. Just want to clear that up. And this is the first time I've been out at night in five years. <laughs> the freaks come out at night and they usually have a uniform and a gun. So Kai stay home, secured. Kai case, we can't even say, how do you say anniversary? We can't say happy anniversary. I can't say happy anniversary for Hurricane Dorian because there's nothing happy about Hurricane Dorian. Only the part that I survived and many others survived. But Kai Case, a silver, is about to touch down a one o'clock flight again. Ten years later, they do the same exact thing. Ten years later, they still late. One flight a day. That's all they're doing now. It's the off season, one flight a day. They can't get right. But Kai still cares. That's why he's here.